Hello everyone. Now this is the next part of the faulty radiographs. Earlier in the last part we have seen about the projection errors. So before starting with this, I am just going to mention about the book that we have. That is the DME textbook of oral radiology. So this is how the book it looks like. And here is the index. The topic that we are discussing is the faulty radiograph. So this is how the faulty radiographs it looks like. Now, if you are interested in buying this book, then you can just DM us on Instagram, WhatsApp or Telegram or you can mail us. Now, starting with the main topic that is the exposure and the processing errors. So first we have exposed the patient to the radiation. Now, the next will be the processing part of it. Now, why? Because when you expose the patient, the image that you get on an IOPA film is known as the latent image. So this latent image, it is an invisible form of the image where you cannot see what exactly is there on the image. So to get the final visible form of the image, you need to go through the steps of processing. So in the steps we have developing, then you rinse that developer. The next step is fixing and the last will be the final rinse with water to remove excessive solutions and lastly is the drying part of it now if you go wrong in any of this step so that will lead to the processing errors the first faulty radiograph for the exposure and the processing error will be about the high contrast now in this high contrast comparatively the radiograph will look more darker so the first reason will be the insufficient penetration of the x-ray beam. So in that case, what you need to do is you need to increase the kilo voltage peak. Next reason can be the overdevelopment, like you have developed it more than required. So that can also lead to a darker film. So in that case, you need to use proper time temperature method and the temperature as given theoretically it should be lower than 70 degree Fahrenheit. The other reasons for high contrast can be the developer concentration is high. The next reason can be the time in the fixer is less. Next reason for high contrast can be accidental exposure to the light. If the safe lighting is improper or if you are storing the film without shielding. So that can also lead to a darker film which is nothing but the high contrast film. The next is about the light contrast. Light contrast is when there is excessive penetration. So in that case, you need to reduce the kilo voltage peak. Next reason for lighter radiographs or whiter radiographs can be if it is underdeveloped, if there is scattered radiation, if there is excessive fixation that can also lead to light contrast where the radiograph it looks more whiter and you need to follow the protocols of the time temperature scattered radiation in that case you need to have proper suitable cone size the next radiographic error is about the reticulation so reticulation is nothing but it is the orange peel appearance that you will see on the radiograph so it can be due to sudden extreme temperature changes when you are doing the processing. So in that case you need to maintain the processing temperature and if the fixer solution is weakened. So in that case also you will have this orange peel appearance. So in that case the correction will be you need to replace the fixer solution. The next processing error is about the air bells. Now what is this air bell? So it is nothing but the air bubbles which are trapped on the film which is preventing uniform reduction of the emulsion layer so this can be prevented by agitating the film when you are immersing it into the developer solution so as you immerse the film in the developer solution you need to keep it moving that is agitating it so that will prevent this air bubbles getting trapped in the film next radiographic error is about the white spots or the lines that you see on the film so this white spots or lines on the film, it can be due to dust which is present on the film or on the screens. So in that case, you need to keep the dark room clean to prevent the dust particles from settling on the film. And you need to periodically clean the screens with the 
cleanser. Next reason for the spots can be emulsion tear from rough handling. If you are not handling the film properly, so it can also lead to such lines on your radiograph because the emulsion layer is teared off. So this emulsion tear it can also be prevented by not rubbing the film against the tank or with the film hangers. The next reason for the white spots and the lines on the film can be the film is getting contaminated with the fixer before processing. So in that case, you need to see that you're keeping the dark room clean and dry always. The next reason for white spots can be if there is excessive bending of the films, if there are cracks on the intensifying screens, if the contamination is there with the fingers or if you are not handling the film properly. So all that can lead to white spots and lines on the film. The next error is about the artifacts that you see on processing. So there are different types of artifacts that can be crescents. Then there are some smudge marks, black lines. So that crescents will be because of the rough handling. Smudge marks, it is about the fingerprints that you will see on the film. Black lines is about the static electricity. So static electricity we have already seen in the last part. If there is rapid movement when you're removing the film from the box, so that can lead to black lines on the radiograph. So static electricity is mostly seen on the OPGs. So black crescents, it can be corrected or it can be avoided by handling the film on the edges only. So that was about the artifacts that will be seen on the radiograph. Now the next is about the yellow or brown stains that you see on the radiographs. So it can be due to if you are using the solution which is expired or if it is oxidized, if it is contaminated or if you are developing it for a longer time, if you are not rinsing it well, that can also lead to yellow or brown stains that you can see on the film. So in that case, you need to always use fresh solutions. So always have proper timing of processing. And for this insufficient rinsing, it should be such that you are rinsing the film. The final wash, it should be at least for 15 to 20 seconds directly under the tap water to remove whatever excessive solution is to prevent such stains on the film. The next error is about the vertical white line that you see on the panoramic radiographs. So it can be due to accidental release of the push button and then it is pressed down for the rest of the image. So that can lead to a blank space on the radiograph which will look as this white lines where the radiation is cut off. So keep the exposure button properly pressed till the entire exposure cycle is done to prevent this vertical white lines on the panoramic radiograph. The next error is about the clear film. So in this, the film is only not exposed. So this can be due to failure to switch on the x-ray machine. If there is electrical failure, if there is malfunctioning of the machine, so that will lead to such complete blank film. The next reason for this clear film can be the film is first put into the fixing solution. So you have proper steps that you need to follow while you are processing the film. First is always developing the image. Next is about the fixing. But accidentally you fix it prior to the developing. So that will lead to such clear film. So always in such cases the position of the tank it should be fixed. You should know where the developer is, where the fixer is. You shouldn't be confused in this. Next is about the black film. That means the film is exposed prior to the processing to the natural light. So in that you should have proper safe lighting. You should check all the doors, all the windows. So you should maintain the room properly to prevent such black film by having unnecessary exposure to the natural light before the processing. Now the next error is the frilling. So it can be if the processing solution is too hot. So you need to maintain the proper processing temperature. And the next error is about the emulsion peel. So that is nothing but the abrasion of the image during processing or if it is for excessive time in the water bath. So that will lead to the emulsion peel. 
and the last error is about the grainy appearance so that can also be if the developer solution is too warm so you should always maintain proper time proper temperature whenever you are doing the processing now the last part will be about the automatic processing errors and the miscellaneous errors and also we are going to see the actual iopf films where you will see combination of this errors in a single iopf film itself it's not always that you will see only one error in one film it can be combination of 2 3 4 multiple errors in one itself so that was all about this part of the processing errors i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much